On September 21st, there was, of course, the huge People's Climate March in Manhattan. 400,000 people in the streets. Now, for some reason, I subscribed to uh, Time magazine, and I was eager to see their coverage. So here's their last two issues. Now, this one is labeled September 29th, but actually it came out before the march. I looked through it to see maybe there was something about the preparations for this momentous march. Nothing. Well, what about the one that came six days later after the march? I went through it from cover to cover several times and was stunned to see nothing at all about a march of 400,000 people about a vital issue. Now, had Time magazine not heard about global warming? Well, no, they had a little article in that issue down here that mentioned uh, that this summer was the hottest in history worldwide. Um, even mentioned the UN climate meeting two days after the climate march but nothing about the climate march itself. Well, was there no room? Well, I don't know. They did have room for this. A six-page report on the fact that Congress was deadlocked, was producing nothing, and this was unlikely to change. What a scoop. And they did have room for this. Time magazine meets with the tyrant of Egypt, Al-Sisi. A bunch of softball, softball questions that he could talk about, the war on terror. But about a movement fighting a coming climate catastrophe, not a word and not a photo. Time magazine, you are pathetic. Thank you.